Uh, okay, this is the uh, latest coat round uh, of the alternating between Archon and Reversal. This time round we are Reversal, so I think this is round six. Uh, I'm up against Lost Highway. Uh, I already know that uh, George and Kevin have won, so our team's won this round. This is this is just really for honour at this point, see if we can make a clean sweep. Just show you the deck that the Lost Highway has given me. Um, Brobner, but at least it's called the Archons Brobner. It's still not a great Brobner. There's too many actions there for too few too few creatures. Those sort of loot the bodies and loads of assaults just aren't going to do much. Uh, this has got a, quite a bit of board control, which is going to be useful. This is uh, Shake Hamus. Um, but the Shadows is nice. The Shadows have got the two Miasmas, the TMTP, and the Nervus paired with the TMTPs. Um, so I'm just looking at my hand. Uh, as a as a going first hand, uh, yeah, we'll keep that. It could be worse. So we'll we'll see. Uh, oh, so there, there's Shake Hamer's Tempest. That I've been playing his turn, and they went with a Commander Romeo. Uh, I'm going to go with the Probnar. Put out a crump. And the fire spitter and the auto cannon, and I will discard the coward's end. Go to the next turn, and it looks like a, a, an okay ish Bromnar turn. And obviously, if they've still got no amber, I might go with Terra, but I suspect they're going to reap that Remy on how they've gone Sanctum. Stunned nothing, but gave them an amber cleansing wave for nothing. Put them on two. Um, yeah, there's 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 an interesting decision here. Do I do that? Sound the horns? There's a yeah. There's obviously a very real risk that I put something like the TMTP or something else equally vital into the bin. Um, we've only got a crump and a smash left. Crump and oh no, we've got the crump, not a crump. We've only got uh, two smashes left. And that's it. Um, I think we do because otherwise we need we need to kill the vault keeper right anyway. Otherwise, we're you know, the what steals we do have are going to be no good. So let's go. Um, let's go, Brobnar. Let's do that. Sound the horns. Uh, the three fates went in. Um, not too bad by losing the, the bauble and the urchin. Okay, we will. I guess we play the smash. We'll stun Romeo. No, we may as well shoot the Romeo. We will use crump. To take out the vault keeper and then reap, ending the face. Getting slightly ahead on the amber game, but very much ahead on the board state. Unfortunately, we didn't get any draw any Bromnar, so I'm probably going to go elsewhere. They went sanctum, disappointing, could have nerve blasted. Wow, that is quite a lot of sanctum, <laughs> uh, and, and you know, the two captures. Um, mm, it's an interesting quandary here. Uh, I'm not entirely convinced by the um, by the shadows turn at this point. You know, if we get out of the, the, the disc creatures, we might force them into trying to attack in. So let, let, let's get the disc out of the way. We've got a cho choice to make with the Gongoozle. Do we want to kill the Remio? I think we do. Let's play a Terra. Play the 
Put name in. And it's on. Uh, I might get a decent look the bodies off. We'll have to see. Are they going to go Sanctum for a fourth turn? Um, and they've gone through, what, eight of their 12 cars? That's a pretty lucky start to be able to do that. Surely they must be going to another house now. Then again, you know, there's, there's three Sanctum on the table. It wouldn't be unreasonable to, to keep in Sanctum. Just for the reaps. No, they're gone Shadows. Skeleton Key, Imperial Traitor. They can look at my hand. It's, uh, not sure it's going to help them to look at my hand. They, they can see that what I'm about to try and do is loot the bodies and smash those uh, Sanctum as best I can. Fortunately, I've got the uh, Fire Spitter. Without the Fire Spitter, it'd be rather hard. Do they have an answer, though, to my Fire Spitter? Is it, uh, No, they don't. Right. Let's go with the Brobnar turn then. Let's play the loot the bodies. Do I reap or do I fight? I think we reap at this point. It makes not much difference. Then to turn. And there's another loot the bodies. They're on key. Are they going to try and use shadows to take us off? They certainly can with the skeleton key. Oh, they bait and switched. How, how disappointing. Okay, uh, gotta be careful about too much to protect here. Um, but equally, I need to. I do need to go to seven, um, just to avoid. The urchin. So I think we are we're Brobna again, aren't we? Let's go Brobna. Um, play the, the bodies. In fact, if they have the urchin, I need to go to eight, don't I? Hmm. Because, uh, or am I putting myself too much at risk? No, let's do it. Let's go to eight. Let's have a look what their response to that was. If they go anything other than shadows, we've probably got away with it. I 
Yeah, I think if they had a TMTP, you'd be straight into shadows at this point, wouldn't you? So, maybe they haven't got it yet. They're only halfway through the deck. This. Okay. Well, the hysteria. I was about to do the same myself. <laughs> um, or at least I was certainly considering it. Um, let's get the key anyway. No, we don't want to do our own sort of dis hysteria yet, we want to wait on that. Um, Shadows doesn't look great either. If I had a creature, which I could pawn sacrifice, it would look good, but I don't. Um, so, let me just relay all those Bromna. I mean, the fact that we've got a succubus isn't, isn't really going to hinder us at all. We weren't drawing this turn it regardless because of the uh, balance of cards in hand it's a very stunned succubus uh, end the turn it's a bit of a tread water turn for me that um, but at least we, you know, we've, we've kept the board presence Oh, I'm going to heal the succubus, play out Romeo. Okay. Protecting the weak. Do we do the hysteria? I think we may do the hysteria at this point. Um, yeah, that's... What's it? Oh, do we just brob now? We could just brab now, I suppose, until we, we, we're in a, you know, a better state. Um, yeah, let's let's brab now for now. Yeah, nearly, it's nearly check. Yeah, it's, there's a temptation there to try and maintain, you know, draw card, draw, you know, board presence and all that stuff. Well, at the end of the day, you win by getting amber. And we're now a clear key ahead. Uh, and their sort of board sweeper is hysteria. It's gone. So they can control the weak me into whatever they like. Um, okay, you've controlled the weak into into disc. It's unfortunate because, you know, I can't kill that shula. Um, do I even bother with the hysteria at this point? Then I don't think I do. Um, I can't. Con I can't stop them forging. So I don't see there's any advantage to actually playing out the hysteria. I'll keep it in hand. So let's have a dust imp. Oh, pit demon. Let's have a terror. Pass turn, give him a key.
and depending on what they play, you know, depends which house I, I go. Go oh, when the urchin. I think we're going to probably blow those two up. Or do we want to kill the Shula as well? It's had two nerve blasts, didn't it? Yeah. Um, okay, let's get rid of these, some of these shadows. So we're going to pawn sack off the off the dust imp, kill the asp, and then it's kill the shula or the urchin. I think we kill. Let's kill the shula. So. That's because we can always shoot the imp with the seeker needle if we have to. Pull sack, a dust imp, kill the asp, damage Shula, nerve blast, finish the Shula off, seeker needle, and let's junk that evasion sigil that's just been sitting there like a chain. Keep your TMTP. And it's now paired with a nerve blast, which is nice. Yeah, we might get the key. We've gone to seven, so we might get the key. Um, they could TMTP scout and key us. Um, but if we do get the key, then we're into a good start on the next one with that relentless assault. As much as I was dissing it at the start, the fact that we managed to keep these, uh, the only four Bobnar creatures, managed to keep them on board, means we can get a good use out of it. Basically, smack the urchin out of the way. Uh, and then get three additional reaps. Having a bit of a think. Can they take me off the key? That's the question. Drumble. There is a drumble in the deck. I keep going to Seventon because I want to sucker it out and get it dead. They've gone this. How are we going to see the drumble? Well, there's the lash that I don't really have any way to deal with. Yeah, I mean, the difficulty they've got with drumble is they can see that I've got the cannon on the table so you know it's never going to be too hard for me to kill it but it may at least buy them a turn and if it buys them a turn it's being able to use lash to make me pay the full nine and then it's uh, not an unreasonable use of it oh, tendrils of pain everything takes a damage first then drumble yeah Pandemonium, yeah, yeah, just for the amber. No, I'm saying they've still got the, still got the TMTP. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter which way they go, um, which house they do here. Drumble's dead. Okay, so I have to name shadows. So I'm fortunate that I'm that I'm going to nerve blast. I um, 
so and get so high that I mean they, they they've got their TMTP, so they're going to presumably TMTP me back. I'll see and then TMTP them. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, when the urchin comes in, there we go. So they're going to TMTP me. <laughs> I'm just going to TMTP urchin it right back. Um, we got lucky that we got lucky there. Oh, Carlo Phantom. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Shadows. Play my own TMTP. Play the urchin. Shoot Carlo. There you go. Even if they do now manage to uh, lash me, I'll still forge the second queue. Yeah, they're going to lash me. What else have we got in this? Another drumble. There's not two in the deck. That was quite lucky for them. <laughs> as long as they haven't redrawn the uh, the TMTP. Isn't this interesting? From where we've got where we are currently in the game, I don't actually want to play any of these cards out of my hand. Um, I need to get that. I need to get that turn number out and see if there is a see if they've got the TMTP back. So I need to kill the drumble. Um, Let's go, Brob now. And let's just take out Toxin with Crump. Cannon the Drumble. Leave it at that. Don't need to do any more. Have they got the TMTP back on the reshuffle? That would be insanely lucky to have both the drum ball and the TMTP back. Yeah, I mean, sitting on the miasmas, nice, but uh, 
we need to get our second key then I'll be happier Again, the longer it goes on, the happier I am, because it means if you had it, if you had the TMTP, you'd play it now. So I don't think there is any other mass control. Who's yeah, both controller weeks have been put back in. Um, so we could see a disc turn to lash me. And again, whichever house I got, if I got control the week, I, I wouldn't be bothered too much. Sanctum. Okay. Don't think there's enough ca capture straight off the bat. And there's a big ass cleansing wave if um, if that lands. Ready night. Cleansing wave, yeah, big ass cleansing wave. Let's have a key. Let's think how about we how we're gonna to get to nine. I think it's Brobnar. We're gonna to have to um to kill that fella. But once he's dead um we can then set to with the reaping as well. So for another six reaps, yeah. So let's go Brobnar. We'll punch the Raiding Knight. We'll cannon the Raiding Knight. We will fight with Smash. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, eight, sorry, eight. If they got the Shula, ten. If they the pay, oh. I mean, does it matter? Uh, the only thing I'm living in fear of now is TMTP, uh, which is that they've got more than enough. So yeah, read with them, I guess. In turn, can you stop me? That's the question. You're going to get your key, but can you stop me as well? I can potentially buy another turn with the Miasma. I don't do much other than shoot my own bad penny for an Amber. I think it really is sort of a... No. Oh. 